Tuesday, February 27, 2018. For the next two days, we are visiting the island of Curacao, which lies just 35 miles north of Venezuela. Williamstead, the capital of Curacao, is home to one of the most diverse populations in the world. Its 135,000 inhabitants are composed of some 55 different nationalities, most being the direct descendants of Spanish, Portuguese, French, English, and Dutch settlers, as well as native tribes from South America and slaves from Africa. Many Dutch colonists became wealthy from the slave trade, and they built impressive colonial buildings. The architecture blends Dutch and Spanish colonial styles. This wide range of historical buildings has resulted in the city being designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Being close to the oil fields of Venezuela, the harbor is one of the largest oil handling ports in the Caribbean. The refinery was used during World War II to supply oil for Allied forces. After the war, discarded 55-gallon oil drums were made into steel drums. Smaller versions of this instrument had been around for many years, first developed in Trinidad for carnival celebrations. The oil drums converted into steel drums after the war improved the musical instrument because for the first time they now contained all 12 notes of the chromatic scale. In the evening, Sue and I go on a harbor cruise excursion, which takes us along the coast to see the many resorts. Just before sunset, the boat takes us into the harbor to get a closer look at the oil refinery and the sunset. The Queen Emma Bridge at the entrance to the harbor is a long pontoon bridge which opens for incoming and outgoing ships and boats by detaching on one end and swinging out into the harbor to let the boats pass through.
Before our second day in Curacao, we walked back to the Queen Emma Bridge to do some shopping and to get a better look at the colorful Dutch buildings that line the harbor. They remind us of the buildings along the canals of Amsterdam and Copenhagen. We ran into Jehovah's Witnesses at their witnessing cart. On three different islands, we saw witnessing carts next to where cruise ship passengers get off the ship. We also met sisters at a booth selling clothing and another working in a gift shop. On one island, they told us about how on certain days for certain ships, they are allowed to board the ship to talk with the ship's crew members. 